night. I think it showed in the edit, didn't it, yesterday? Well, let's get to work and brew some beer. Well, we're in and we're on. Excellent. We walk through the door and it's 80 degrees. The solid state relay's off. The heat sinks on the control panel are cold, so it's got to temperature, and she's just a ticking over, stable 80 degrees. So I'm a little bit hungover from last night, but we won another award, so celebrations were happening big time. So let's get mashed in, man. Uh, we're going to get mashed in, and then today I've got an announcement to make for you. I can't keep you all in suspense so long. We're pretty much... 95% sealed the deal, but I will be telling you when I've got some free time. Well, I'm gonna cliffhangers, don't you just love them? But yeah, I'm gonna mash in as quick as possible because it is Friday, and the quicker I finish the brew day today, the quicker I'm away. And uh, I need to find out as well if Billy the sheep's all right. I believe he's had cancer, the poor man. He used to take all my spent grain, he's got sheep, Billy the sheep. Um, so I need to speak to him because I've got the grain from the other brew there. We're going to have the grain from this brew. I'll keep you informed anyway. Yes, but I need to get away because it's Friday today. And uh, I've got that Friday feeling. Even though I'm hungover. Right. Cue radio. Cue coffee. Cue match. What a wonderful world. Mashed in, mashed out, and we're transferring already. Check it out. Super smooth this morning. That was no problem at all. I could just do, uh, I'm gonna speak to Matt at Keg Kingdom, but I'm gonna get another brew pump 3000 just to recirculate the mash and do the transfer. And then at least I know that the HLT pump and the mash pump are recirculating at the same speed. And then I can use the boil pump to recirculate the boil while it's filling up to allow me to take gravity readings during the um, during the transfer periodically, so I can keep track of my pre-boil target. And then as soon as I hit my pre-boil, we stop. But wow, I'm really, really impressed at how smooth everything's turning out. Touch wood. I'm not superstitious, but uh, God, I don't want to. I don't want to jinx it, considering it's working so well. Lots of things I still need. I didn't manage to get the pipe work sorted for the HLT. I'm going to do that out of copper, I think, for the research on the HLT. Shouldn't be a problem that side. There's going to be only the occasional acid rinse. And uh, well, I never did get that coffee this morning either, so. Okay, I'm just sat here looking through the uh, UK Brewers Professionals website on Facebook, their page. So I'm looking to rent some casks. Rent to buy, rent to buy. These guys normally have a mine of information, but you have to be a professional brewer to join their page. There's a little bit of leeway though. You'll work in a brewery, cleaning casks, and uh, you'll get on. Cracking sight, though. Really good. It's a Blondale kind of brew day, folks. Yes, it is. Now, it's noisy out here because we've got two pumps running. Yeah, two pumps running. But check out how full this boil kettle is. Uh, yeah, we are. We are pushing her. 
Now we've given it an anti-foam addition as well, which is why there's no foam on the top. Because I'm so close to the top of the kettle, I don't want to risk a boil over. So I'm going to keep a very close eye on this when it actually reaches the hot break. Because that's going to be the problem area. So hopefully I've got time to dig out the mash tun. So this, this gives me lots of confidence that I could do higher gravity beers than I anticipated because that's how high the grain is in here. So I've got literally, I could double the amount of grain in that mash tun and still have, uh, have space in, in the top. So I reckon I could do a 6% beer without any problems, which is a good sign and full batch as well. Check out the hot break, uh, the cold break on this. Look at that flocking, it's beautiful. Since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Okay. Time to add some Whirlpool hops, I think. It's looking damn nice. I'm gonna drop these in slowly, so I don't wanna clog the pump. Pea soup, boys and girls, pea soup. Isn't that just wonderful? We're transferring the beer. It's taking quite a long time because it's a big batch. So to kill a couple of minutes, let's go and take a sneak peek at Wednesday's brew and uh, see if we can get the camera to have a little look in the uh, fermenter and see what's going on. Right, I've uh, unclipped the front, not the back. This is heavy, so hopefully the camera will focus quickly and uh, we can have a good browse. So, let's get in. Oh my God, this is heavy. <sighs> well, there you go, as you can see, looks like it's doing quite well. So I'll just move the, uh, the blow-off buckets across and we'll have a look in this one as well. Ugh. So that is the work that we're transferring across today. Slightly steamy in there, slightly steamy, because it is, uh, well it's only 25, 26 degrees, but uh, obviously any heat in there is coming to the top. A lot of that mist is still from from the acid recirculation and uh, let's have a look in the boil kettle see where we are wow yes you're probably not going to be able to see in here before you get steamed up yeah you ain't getting to see in there still really quite hot so uh, the transfer is approaching an hour which is acceptable Sometimes they run even longer than that. Uh, I'm just keen to get cleaning up, if anything. Okay, that's another brew in the bag. Hey, pubs. <laughs> uh, temperatures at 25 degrees. That'll creep down a little bit, given time. Okay, now we've finished the brew day. Let's reveal the big secret that we've got, the announcement. Come on Abs, you lead the way. 
So we come out of the brewery and we walk through this little archway into here. Yeah. <laughs> and then, oh look, look at this big building here with a cellar cooler. And oh my gosh, look at this beautiful area. Could this be the new and improved brew shed? Could it indeed? Could we be moving into here? I think we just might be. Hey Gem. Hey. What do you think? And you also get your best. And you also get a view of the Chesterfield Canal. What a beautiful beer garden this will be. Don't you think, Abs? The marina next door. Oh, look at that. I think well, we can make this work, don't you? I don't think we're going to need to clean this bird poo up. Yeah, we'll clean the patio when we get moved in. So yeah, believe it or not, we'll be moving in here in the next three months. Here's the cellar with the bars on the window, look. Oh, you can't see through the glass very well. But yeah, bit of a panoramic. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> it's brilliant. So we are moving in. We'll be coming from next door into here. It's good news, isn't it, Jam? It's extremely good news. But we don't have any keys yet, so we've uh, we've agreed heads of terms with the chap who owns the place. Uh, I've shook his hand. It is basically... What's up? Are you stuck? Has a spider landed on you? <laughs> so this is the, uh, the cellar drop, if you like. Needs cleaning up a little bit, but nothing that I can't handle. And this is effectively our delivery drive. There we go, back in the brewery. How frigging cool is that, man? Yeah, I weren't shouting too loud out there in case somebody tries to come and gazump me. But I don't think it's gonna happen like, because uh, like I said, I've shook hands with the man. But there's the announcement, folks. The brew shed is closing, but opening up next door where the restaurant was. It's three times the floor space, if not four times the floor space, and it has that huge outside space at the side of the canal. Worth the wait, wasn't it? Right, we'll see you tomorrow, it's Saturday. I'm gasping to have that barbecue, but I don't think we're ever gonna get one. What a wonderful world.